Welcome, welcome, welcome to another week's episode of Fantasy News. Thank you. I'm your host, Daniel Green. No, I'm not. I'm I'm Gary Honda. Um, let me get this out of there. Let's play the real thing. Okay, guys, 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 like. I just got off the Brandon Sanderson live stream and he just made some massive announcements about the future of the Cosmere. For those of you who don't know, Dragon Seal is happening right now, at least at the time of my recording this. And they're doing a massive convention right now, basically to celebrate the launch of the Lost Metal. With the light glare on that, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm only about a third of the way through the book, but as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna also put out a review, so watch for that. But the announcements, guys, the announcement. So Sanderson being the author of the book, he's gonna be the keynote speaker of Dragon Seal, right? Right, makes sense. Well, last minute he decided that he was gonna rewrite all his talk and he added some big nuggets for where the future of the Cosmere is going. I keep saying announcements in this video. It's only one announcement, but it's a big one. Check it out right here. What do I really want to be known for? Is it the bland one and a half page thing that fulfills the assignment? Uh, is that what I really want to be? Um, and so when I sat down to write Lost Metal, the story I was outlining and was working on was one that um, maybe didn't fulfill the assignment very well. Um, and by that, what I really wanted to do was delve more into the Cosmere, something that I'd been a li little bit reluctant to do. Uh, and so I guess kind of the, um, the warning I'm going to give you is that for years I've said, this is going to be in the background, right? Um, Lost Metal changes that. Um, now I want to be careful because um, the, one of the legitimate fears of too much crossover is making you feel left out if you aren't aware of everything, right? I don't want you to go into a book and feel like you're not part of the conversation. But at the same time, this is the thing that makes me and my work distinctive. And I've kind of decided that I'm no longer going to worry if I'm fulfilling the assignment or not. Um, and so this is fair warning to you, all right? When you give books to your friends, give them era one, where this is in the background, because from now on, the gloves are off. Um, <laughs> I present to you the lost medal. I hope that you love and enjoy it. Uh, and I'm going to give you this warning. There's a lot more crossover than there's been in any book I've ever done before. Okay, so this is freaking huge. So that's what she said. And I'm not gonna lie, the inner Cosmere nerd is so thrilled. <laughs> I cannot wait for this. We're gonna get more crossovers. We're gonna see more characters from Stormlight and Mistborn. We're gonna see more stuff with the Lantris and Warbreaker. And honestly, if you're a Cosmere nerd, this is the dream scenario. I mean, then look at this then. I can't imagine a more beautiful thing. Sanderson has always said that the Cosmere was gonna be a secret epic. You're gonna be able to read the series, a standalone series. That's why early on in the beginning of the Cosmere, he was very, very light touch. You maybe had Void show up here or there, but that was really about it. So yes, yes, as a Cosmere nerd, I am so excited for this. I can't wait to see where it goes. However, this could be damaging for future Cosmere readers who want to get into the Cosmere. Why? Sanderson even mentioned it himself, saying he didn't want other people to feel like they're not in on the full experience of the book. And I totally get that. I've honestly heard from some people that they're already starting to feel that way. A great example of that is going to be Rhythm of War. So many Cosmere connections, right? And us diehard Cosmere fans have eaten it up. But I'll be honest, I have a couple of friends and family members who only read the Stormlight Archive, and they haven't read anything else in the Cosmere. And for most of these people, Rhythm of War is the worst of the four books. What I tend to see is that people who love the Cosmere really liked Rhythm of War, and those who don't had a harder time with it. I'm not saying that that's for everyone, and I'm not saying that that's your experience. That's just a general trend that I've seen. Before The Lost Metal came out, I would have been just fine recommending Mistborn Era 2 to a brand new reader. Sure, there's some connections, and sure, there's some things that harken back to the original series, but overall, you could read this series first before Mistborn Era 1. Moving forward, we're gonna have to tell our friends, read Mistborn Era 1. Even if you're not into that genre of fantasy, you've gotta read it if you're going, if you're going to enjoy the full experience of Mistborn Era 2. Is that a bad thing? No, not necessarily. It just means we're going to have to evolve how we recommend the Cosmere to our friends and family now. Let's start at the very beginning. So if I really had to break this down into pros and cons, the pros would be all for the current Cosmere fans. People who love the Cosmere, die hard of the Cosmere. You're going to get more of what you want. You're going to get a whole lot of it. And it sounds like Sanderson said he's taking the gloves off, right? Because from now on, the gloves are off. 
for those people who are not into the Cosmere yet, but were thinking about it, this suddenly became a lot more daunting. Sanderson says he's going to walk that line. I just don't know if he's gonna be able to do it because already in books like The Lost Metal, I'm only about a third of the way through. I can already see that there's a lot of talk that would be boring to me if I was only reading Miss Born Era 2. Not, I'm not getting into any spoilers of what I've read so far, but there are some conversations between uh, some characters that are very wide Cosmere focused that if I was only reading Miss Born Era 2, I would be like, okay, let's get on to the plot of the story, right? But because I am a fan of the Cosmere, I'm like, oh, this is interesting. I'm learning new things, all the new connections. It's great. That's so good. Yeah. Here's a different question for you. Should these pros and cons even affect Sanderson's decision? I don't think so. It's his book series. He's already wealthy enough that he never needs to work again. He never needs to write another book and he'll be fine the rest of his life and his children probably will be too. Right now, it's all about him doing what makes him happy. And he's gonna be making the books that are gonna make his fans the happiest. And if that prevents some fans from joining the fandom, that's gonna be sad, but honestly, it's up to him. It's his life, it's what he wants to do. Go for it, man. And I'm already in the fandom, so I'm happy as can be. So if you like getting Cosmere news, skits, theories, reviews, subscribe right there. You know, you know where the button is right down there. Yeah. Just subscribe.